Looking for the best cheap USB microphone for gaming to get you started on Twitch, YouTube, or Mixer? Then you're going to want to take a look at the Fifine K670 to get you started. Let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you from my stream support playlist where I bring the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, at any point in this video, if you like the products or the services that I'm talking about, you know what to do. I put links in the show notes below, so make sure you check them out. One question I always get asked about audio is can the cheap USB microphones keep up with the more expensive ones? Well, let's take a look at the K70 Fifine microphone and see how well it sounds for stacking up for streaming and gaming. Let's take a look. The K70 is a plug and play condenser microphone with a 16 millimeter capsule. Has a unidirectional cardioid polar pattern, which means it's gonna do its best to pick up the sounds coming from the front side of the microphone, but generally will pick up a little bit more sounds coming from the sides as well. Has a frequency response of 50 to 15 kilohertz, volume knob in the front, and has a headphone jack in the back. This way you can hear your own voice for the pass through. And is also surprisingly made of a sturdy material. It's got some heft to it, which is nice to see on a microphone that is placed under 50 USD. The Fifine K670 comes complete in the box with the microphone, technically an adjustable stand, but it's more of a sectional stand that you can make to different heights. But to be honest, the stand isn't the greatest. It's kind of a little bit useless. Comes with a threaded adapter for different size bolts for all your different scissor arms or boom arms out there, or for whatever microphone stand you're gonna put it on. Plus it comes with the USB power cord. That way you can power it from your computer to your broadcasting software and to the microphone itself. Now we have our Fifine K70 all set up and it's just adjacent to my mouth here so you can hear the sound quality that is coming through. And I'm just talking at normal tones here and at no point will I take this microphone audio footage and I will put it through any type of like audio tools to make it sound better. What you're gonna hear is straight plugged into the broadcasting service that you would be using yourself. So let's put this microphone through some tests to see how well it'll suit all of your needs out there. For our first test, let's test out the angle of attack and the frequency response of how sound will be taken in by the microphone from the front and all the circumferencing sides around it and how much it'll fall off. So I've got queued up here on my phone some white noise. So let's take a listen. Let's test out the distance that we have here. Currently where I'm speaking out, I'm roughly about four to six inches away from the microphone. Now I'm a total of about one foot away from the microphone. Now I'm at a grand total of about two feet away from the microphone. Now let's test out the plosives that come out of my voice for the air being projected towards the microphone. As you can see here, I always recommend having your microphone just adjacent off to your mouth. About 45 degrees is always good. So that way the air projects straight and doesn't get picked up by the microphone. But let's see how much the plosives or the air that'll be pushing towards the capsule receives and kind of deals with the peaking of sounds. So Peter picked a bunch of peppers. Now let's go through a, uh, a pop filter here and see how much it negates while, while using uh, a pop filter to see the sound quality difference on the plosives. Peter picked a bunch of peppers. So what are some of the pros and cons that we have with the K670? Well, one of the best pros is gonna be the price. This microphone retails for under 50 USD on Amazon. And for a jump in price for a microphone that's gonna make you sound better than any general headset out there, it's probably gonna be one of the best dive in points for you. Pro number two is how sensitive the mic capsule actually is. You know, this would be something that would be very good for anybody that's a shy or a timid speaker out there that is doing a live stream or game streaming. This way you don't have to be that animated and your voice will come through at the clean, high, crisp sounds that this microphone can produce. In fact, let me show you how sensitive it actually is. So here I have the microphone at 75% gain on the volume knob. And here you can see how well it picks up sound. Now if I don't do a whisper and I just talk in a slow voice, you can still see that this microphone will still pick me up quite well. In fact, it's not even popping just yet. But if you're in a quiet spot or you can't be loud or you stream late at night, 
this microphone might actually be something that's good for you. Pro number three is about the crisp, clean sound that comes through this microphone. This microphone for $50 or under 50 USD has a very good vocal range for picking up clean, crisp, and clear sound as it comes through at those higher frequencies, which is gonna be especially good for live streaming games that have a lot of ambient sounds and high pitch sounds. This way your voice will cut through your stream and be very noticeable to everybody that's viewing it. Pro number four is something that I find quite useful that probably a lot of people won't, but I wanna bring it to your attention. It's actually got kind of this screw knob on the bottom of the microphone that allows you to make simple adjustments depending on where you need to turn the microphone for all these different, th for all your different situations. If you're, if you're doing group streams or live streams, or you gotta move your microphone for somebody else to speak. It's just so simple to make an adjustment that has to turn very easily and you can just tighten it down. Now I know that's something that a lot of people probably won't enjoy as much as me, but I find that aspect to be quite nice for whenever you have to make any adjustments. It's just on the fly, which is super nice and super convenient. For our first con, this microphone is USB, which means generally it should be a plug and play unit. Now it is a plug and play unit, but you do have to do some fine tweaking between the gain volume knob on the front and your settings on your broadcasting software. You have to find a sweet spot for your broadcasting needs. So it is gonna require some tweaking and some testing till you find that sweet spot that works good for your stream and your voice. In addition to the plug and play of the K70, there's something that you need to be aware of. A lot of streamers and a lot of other reviewers online during my research have noted that this microphone will have detection problems on your computer, which will result in you unplugging the unit and replugging it in until it gets recognized for you to actually select for your broadcasting software, or you may have to even restart your computer till this microphone is recognized. Now, I did not run across any of these while testing this microphone out and having fun with it, but it has been noted by many people, so I want you to be aware of that. Now, while I didn't run into any of these issues, I did notice when I select this mic in my broadcasting software, it comes up as mic test or test mic, which does not make me feel comfortable about the drivers associated with this microphone for it to get recognized. So I can see why a lot of people have this complaint. Con number two is in contrast to the pro we had earlier about how sensitive this mic is. While I say it's very good for timid or shy or low speaking streamers and live streamers and gamers out there, you know, this would be the opposite effect if you're more animated and you have more of a projection type voice like myself. Also, if you're in a very noisy room, perhaps you have a loud console or a loud computer or just in general, your streaming area is loud. This microphone will pick up almost everything in the room. So you need to take that into consideration when uh, when you're thinking about purchasing this particular microphone. Con number three has to deal with the headphone jack in the back. Well, it's not the best location for it. It doesn't really bother me as it would some other streamers if you accidentally tugged, it would pull the mic away from you and things like that. It actually has to do with the pass-through sound that comes through. When you plug in your headphones and you listen to yourself as you're speaking through, it has a natural staticky and just total noise sound coming through. It's almost unbearable to listen to. It's just too strong. So that's one of the worst things I can find about this mic is the pass-through sound that comes through. It's just, it's just bad. Now, if you like the Fifine K670 microphone, the nice thing about it is it does not weigh that much and you can get away with a fairly cheap boom arm because it's not gonna put too much tension on the boom. So I would recommend just getting one of the cheaper, newer boom arms. If you wanna upgrade, you can easily go to a Rode PSA 1, which will easily hold this, or the Compass arm from Blue, which is a big beefy one, which will look a little funny with this, this little guy on here, but this newer one will work just fine. It will totally hold wherever it needs to go. Now, if you're looking for something that can be comparable to the Fifine K670 microphone, I would recommend looking at the Snowball Ice from Blue, which is also a plug and play microphone that has, I think to me, a better interface that's more foolproof, if you will, and has a more full body rich sound. But I can concede that the K670 does have a better top end sound for the crisp, clean narration voices that will be coming through. So you can take a look at which one might be better suited for you. If you wanna learn more about the Snowball Ice, I did a video on this one already. You can take a look at the top of the card up there. For a cool little bonus tip, if you're a PS4 streamer out there, this microphone will be auto-detected by your PS4, which means you can use the K670 
for your streaming needs. If you're interested in the Fi Fine K670, it goes for under 50 USD. I'll put links in the show notes below so you can check it out. So if it seems like something that's right up your alley, I would recommend checking it out and seeing if it's the perfect mic for your situations. It falls short in some aspects, but like we made for the pros earlier, it may be the perfect microphone for you, depending on your streaming situation. How do I personally feel about the K670? You know, I think it's a perfectly adequate mic. I don't think it excels or excites me in any particular aspect, but I can concede that it has a clear, crisp, and clean sound. And for some people out there, that's all you need. And if you're just starting out with your streaming adventures or live streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer, no point in paying up for a microphone that you're not gonna get the full range of. You know, you might wanna start out with something a little more within your price range. And the K670 could be that type of microphone for you. Let's be honest. Figuring out stream gear, it's really tough, but not to worry, I'm here to help you out. If you guys want me to review any particular product that you're interested in, I'll see what I can do. Do me a favor though, leave a comment below and let me know what type of streaming gear you would love me to review and you know, I'll see what I can do to make a video on it to help us all out with our streaming needs. If you'd like to help me out, you know what you guys can do. You can follow me on over at Twitter and Instagram. That way you keep up to date of when I go live on Twitch or post a new video here on this YouTube channel. And if you like what you see here, you're definitely gonna like what you see on over at twitch.tv slash wildforgames where you can hit that almighty follow button. And even if you like more, hit that almighty subscribe button. And thank you to those that already have started hitting the join button in this YouTube channel there. I appreciate it so much. I will see you all in my next stream support video coming up real soon. Take care all, peace.